I think if you want to know why I think there's a crisis in politics today and a lack of choice, where is the party that stands for freedom? No one. Freedom of what? Free, well, every, freedom, you, used to, you didn't used to have to do a qualification, right? You, you, you could have said civil liberties or free speech or just the spirit of freedom. We represent a free society and that therefore means we're not going to interfere in your life unless you're absolutely doing something terrible. Not that we're all over your life and we're dotting the I's and crossing... What is it? Crossing the crossing T's, the T's. And micromanaging everything about your life or your business and or your the school. Away from you. and, and, I, and I do think that, <laughs> that there isn't the loyalty. We saw the breach of loyalty, the break of loyalty. People who for generations had voted Labour, voted for Boris Johnson because of Brexit. That particular group, what are known as the Red Wall voters. But I think that people are now looking around saying... Come on, what, what, where are the parties that are going to offer me something that goes beyond just the economic competence as well, that believe in things? And I, I can't get over the fact the main political parties do not ever argue for civil liberties, freedom of speech. And I'm afraid that although the Conservative Party sometimes pay lip service to it, if I look at the legislation coming through, they then bring in laws that are going to damage it. I think that's a real shame.